Hello the kids, it is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of New Vegas. Alright, when we left off, we were going to head out and, uh, help, uh, Doc Henry, I think that's what his name was, uh, <laughs> it's been a while, uh, figure out what's, uh, causing the new mutation for the, uh, little group of Night Stalkers in the area, but, uh, for the time being... I'm just looking into stuff nearby. Um, whoa. That's, but that's the sound. Uh, turns out, um, something I had forgotten. The reason that, uh, Marcus looks so different from other little, uh, little, <laughs> from other super mutants here. Um, do you see the little brace on there? That's to bring their, uh, lip up. Because it's kind of really far down. Uh, Marcus doesn't wear one of those. So that's probably why. Anyway. Um, was supposed to mark the quest. I forgot to. <laughs> when I uh, did all of this. I have to look for. A, a suitable brain. For uh, Rex here. But uh, eventually. I'll need to go do that. So. Um. Considering I'm here right now, I'll do this, and then I'll head for the, uh, other thing later. But, for the time being, we need to talk to Lily. Jimmy! Uh, Little Jimmy! My, how you're grown up! So good of you to come visit your grandma. Um, who's Jimmy? Oh, Jimmy, don't you go being silly now. Come over here and give your grandma some sugar. Oh, dear God. <laughs> I think you have me confused with someone else. I, oh, of course I have, dearie. How silly of me. Yeah. I didn't take my medicine yet today. Oh, uh, can I explains you? it then. Okay. Um, fair enough. I'm, uh, I should have expected that, really. Uh, I need to move my chair forward a little bit. Give me a moment. It's going to squeak like a bitch. But that's how my chair is. A bitch. Uh, I'm looking into the Night Stalker mutation. Want to come along with me? Boom, those Night Stalkers. Always killing my big horners. It'll be nice to give them a piece of my mind. I'm sure it would be. All right. The Stealth Girl perk. Makes sense, considering she is a girl. And some of you may be asking, well, how do you know which one's a girl and which one isn't? Um... <laughs> well, a uh, lovely little function of the uh, FEV virus that created m the majority of the uh, super mutants. Not like right, created all of them, really, but specific strains created a different sort of super mutant than others. But one of the main characteristics of super mutant tra transformation is the fact that secondary sex characteristics like uh, breast tissue and... Um, well, facial hair, for one thing, is pretty much eliminated. Uh, the, all that's left is a primary. Um, where am I supposed to be going? This way? I think it's supposed to be this way. If I remember right. But, uh... Got well, a problem. Could use your help. Uh... I'm having trouble with NCR mercs harassing the town, and they just showed up again. Oh, great. Um, uh, you sure those mercenaries work for the NCR? Guess I can't say for sure if they're NCR. Fair enough. Wherever they are... They want us dead or gone. Oh. How long have they been harassing the town? Or Killing how our big they? horners, shooting at the lodge, that sort of thing. It's getting hard to keep people from retaliating. Good point. Well, uh, I'm pretty sure I know why they can't just take them out, because then they'd look like they're violent super mutants, and then it would just create more problems for them. So, what do you want me to do? You're human. They might be willing to listen to what you have to say. Maybe. Well, hopefully. I'm not asking you to kill them. Just talk them into leaving. Hell, pay them off if you have to. Fair enough. Uh, I'll see what I can do. Thanks. You're welcome. Uh, I'll have to deal with these guys if I want to go over and do the thing. Which requires me to walk up that path over there. So, I guess I'll need to talk to this guy speak with the leader of the mercenaries. Um, I don't want to have to fight them if I can avoid it. Uh, Norton. Our business is with the muties, not you. That's a derogatory little name you got to call them there. 
Go away or you'll have to deal with me and you'll wish you were fighting the super mutants instead. <laughs> I've always known when to fight and when to back down. And it seems to me I ought to back down this time. Yeah, My there men you go. and I are leaving. You won't see us around here again. That was easy. <laughs> easy and quick. Nice that you guys know what you're doing, which is running the hell away when you see a good fight in front of you. Alright, these other two don't want to seem to leave. There they go. I had to walk back. Alright, that's fair enough. Where is Marcus? There he is. Marcus. Something on your mind? I managed to deal with him. Good. Glad you didn't kill them. Yeah. Letting them walk away proves we're not bloodthirsty mutants. Which is what you want to be doing. If NCR or anybody else is looking for an excuse to attack Jacobstown, they're not going to get it from us. That's good. That is good. That is very good. Uh, what's the story with Keen? Smart. Charismatic. And hell of a mean streak. Yeah. Doesn't care for humans. Prefers fighting them to talking. Yeah, I noticed He's that. He's got a lot of pull with Nightkin, though. He talks, they listen. Was hoping he could draw the Nightkin to Jacobstown. Keen is huh. saner than most, but I know he's thinking of going his own way again. He's aggressive, impatient, can't stand sitting around. Fair enough. Uh, why does he want to leave? Because of a promise. One I haven't been able to keep. Hmm. The Nightkin all suffer from schizophrenia. It's the stealth boys they use, or used to use. Uh -huh. Nightkin have a hard time being seen like normal folks. Can't stand it. A few already left to try and find more stealth boys. Uh -huh. A miserable situation. They either stay here and suffer, or dig up stealth boys and lose their minds. Not much of a choice. Yeah, fair enough. That, that's uh, unfortunate, but that's, uh, that's a double-edged sword there. Huh. What happens if he leaves? That happens. There's a good chance other nightkin will follow. It'll make it hard to get a cure to them. Yeah. Worse. If Keen and the Nightkin tear up the Mojave hunting for stealth boys, people are gonna get killed. Them and Most others. humans can't tell the difference between mutants. Might come here looking for payback. That's a good point. Uh, you're a mutant too. Wouldn't they listen to you? <laughs> That's like saying Kaisar and Kimball would listen to each other. Ah. Nightkin don't have a lot of trust for others. Mutants included. Fair enough. That, that makes it sound like that was a really stupid-ass question. And now I feel stupid. <laughs> Let's talk about something else. Like, um... Eh, I really don't have any questions about Jacobstown. I pretty much know the lay of the land already. So, goodbye. See you. See you later. After I'm done dealing with this stuff. Come on, Lily. Let's go forward. Try to figure out where the hell these mutations for the uh, Night Stalkers are coming from. I have a feeling I will need my weapon out. Wrong weapon. <laughs> Oopsie doodle. Um, medicine stick. Now nah, let's use this one. There we go. Actually, no. Let's pop this one on. There we go. Good shit. Alright. Gotta keep an eye out elsewhere because shit can hit the fan really quickly. Okay. Gotta keep going up. And around, if I remember right, if I remember how the layout of this place works, I am not 100% confident in that assessment. But hey, I am willing to go through with it anyway. Because why not? It has been a while since I did this quest line. I will be perfectly honest with you right now. So I'm not entirely sure where I'm supposed to be going. But looks like this is turning out right. So... I'm feeling vindicated already. Alright. What do we got uh, over here? I think that's the cave. Yeah. I'm not seeing any Night Stalkers pouring out of it, which is what I was expecting, which is why I pulled out my gun. Yeah, well. At least I knew. I wonder, can I use the Night Stalker brain? For uh, Rex here. Honestly, doubt it. Uh, hollowed out rock. Hey, didn't even notice that. Hello. Got some good shit, and an egg timer's worthless to me. So, other than that, we're good. Ooh, geez. <laughs> My, uh, stomach is talking back. Okay, this is gonna be a thing. Lily has a big-ass sword. Look at that. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, 
Oh. Oh, every time I sneak, she sneaks too. With a stealth boy included. How about that? Alright, let's uh, see what's up ahead. Um, I'm seeing stealth enemies. I'm assuming that's the uh, Night Stalkers. I'm supposed to be shooting. Uh, waiting for that one to come back again. Otherwise, I'm not going to see it. There we go. <laughs> I looked away for a second, and then when I looked back, I noticed the uh, telltale signs of shimmers. I cannot really tell this side. I can hear it going. Oh, Jesus. Well, they were able to do it. I sure as fuck wasn't, but they were able to do it. Night Stalker Tail. Uh, that's not really nutritionally worth anything to me. So I don't want to pick that up. Alright. Um, whoa. Looks like there was a camp here at some point, and they ate through whoever was camping here. That much is for sure. Jeebus. <laughs> yeah. Uh, ammunition box. Let's see what's in the ammunition box. Eh? If I can open the stupid bastard. There we go. And for fusion cells, that's better than nothing. It's not great, but it's better than nothing. Alright, um, this one's empty. This one was not worth picking anything up off of. Uh, do I... Hmm. There's something down here, for sure. But then again, there's something around every corner over here. I hear the telltale signs of rattlesnake rattlers. Oh, I see. I see, I see, I see. I can hear them, but I can't see them yet. I can't see that one because he managed to pass out of sight. Okay. I hear him being angry, so I'd rather go down here and head off whatever's down this way. Nothing. Yet. There we go. Oh, there's another one right behind him. Okay. Cannot see any others. Load. Oh, geez. Whoa! That's a lot of animals. Jesus, every time she pops out of stealth, that is the noisiest fucking thing. Ow. Ow. If it sounded bad for you, just imagine how bad it sounded for me with my headset. Ah, oh, God. That hurt. Okay, um, well, I managed to get all of them taken care of. Uh, typically wonderful over there. This one's dealt with. Okay, um, anything around here? I can't f see anything in particular, but then again, I can barely see anything. Uh, no. Nothing here. Oh. Moving stuff around a little bit. And I hear a rattlesnake rattling. Means they're further down. Okay. Oh, jeez. Fucking snuck up on me there. Rex, buddy, are you okay? How's your health? Uh, decent. Okay. 638. That's that's pretty high, actually, considering. Okay. Stalker tail. Okay. Nothing really special going on. Not yet, anyway. I can hear more of them, though. Oh. There's that one gone. Okay, there's some big horner bodies. I can't see 
any other ones. I can hear them, but I can't see them. It's got to be around this corner here. It's got to be. Wait. There we go. Ah. Jesus. Okay. That, that was weird. So we found a Nightkin body, which is what we, or at least I expected to find. Oh, hey, level 40. Fuck yeah. Uh, <laughs> what, what do I put the points in? <laughs> I didn't think of this ahead of time. This is my fault. Um, I don't want to put them into explosives because then it won't really give me anything. Uh, let's just put points into uh, science for five of them and then the rest goes into medicine. There we go. Yeah, that, that should be good enough. And what should I put this perk into? I want to go to the bottom and see. Uh, yeah, certified tech. Not really worth it. Uh, implant GRX. I kind of want that, but at the second time I don't. Because... <sighs> eh. Roughing it. No. Uh, broad daylight would be useful, but I want to see all the other perks that I want to get on first. Um, radiated beauty. No, that's not worthwhile. Uh, them's good eating. I uh, do not necessarily need that. Uh, Jeebus. Action boy would be nice, but don't necessarily need that. Um... Vigilant Recyclers for Energy Weapons. I don't need that. Um, huh. What should I put it in? That's the question. Um, Eve Ho? No. Friend of the Night? No. Uh, Old World Gourmet? Eh? Hmm. That'd be nice. Be nice to have in the back pocket there. Um, light touch, which would be uh, useful for light armor, which is what we're running. So, 5% uh, critical hit chance and uh, negative 25% hit, uh, critical hit chance with my enemies, which is nice. Um, junk rounds don't need that. Um, shining armor is a broken perk, unfortunately, so that's really useless for everyone, even if they are using metal armor. Um, let's see. I think, I, I think I'll take this one. This one has a lot more benefits, especially with the amount of food I use. Chewed up stuff one. Is that where they were getting their, uh, all of their little mutations from? Which is, sounds like what Doc Henry was expecting. And, quite frankly, I was expecting that as well. Okay, we got some big horners. Do not have any of the... Whoop. Jeez. Yep, no... No looting of the bodies, apparently. Or at least, no looting that I can do of the bodies. Because I really wanted the meat. Because I'm pretty sure I can cook that stuff. But no. No, of course not. I'm not allowed to have that. Is there down here. Nothing but a lot of radiation. Sh should have been what I expected. Honestly. Definitely should have been what I expected. Um, I'm not hearing any rattling, so enemies might not be nearby. Just, I'll, <laughs> I'll keep from crouching unless I hear the telltale sign of rattling, because uh, that way I can avoid having to hear the obnoxiously loud sounds of uh, Lily getting in and out of the stealth boy, or stealth girl, whatever it technically is called. Okay, I think I'm done with this area, actually. That's good. Better than not. And uh, we can get along 
towards uh, yeah, Doc Henry. That's who we need to talk to. I was like, I was thinking it was Marcus, but then I was like, no, wait, that was an entirely different kettle of fish. Uh, it was Doc Henry I needed to talk to. So let's get out of here. This is the wrong path. I am a stoop. And there we go. Perfect. Aha! I'll drink my coffee now. And nothing nearby. Weird. All right. Um, I could have sworn that there would be some enemies on the way to it, but no. Just completely and utterly gone. Oh, well. I think I should probably fast travel, but eh, it's easier this way. Just to do the walking part. Put the uh, weapon away because there's no need for it right now key phrase being right now. Alright, and I'll have to go around anyway. Um, I wonder if there was an easier path and I just took the long way around. I don't think so. I think I was pretty much destined to take this path and that definitely proves it. So, away I go. Up the hill and down we go. Alright. Knew it. I knew it. This was the only way I had. Anyway, uh, now that Marcus and the other super mutants are safe for the moment from uh, NCR, uh, you know, those little mercenaries over there, I really should have asked if they were within the uh, NCR or not. I really should have asked. Uh, oh, well. At least they're dealt with and, uh, you know, not going to be a threat to them. Wow, it is getting darker than I thought it would be. <laughs> Alright, time to head inside and go from there. Actually, you know what? I'm going to end the episode here for right now. Because I'm pretty sure at this point he'll uh, do the other thing. But I cannot guarantee I'm right on that. But it ended up taking too long anyway. So I'm just going to end the episode here for right now. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. Share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat. Playing games and dealing with a bunch of Night Stalkers to help out the Super Mutants for you.